using um, a new braided line. It's extra smooth. It's called Fins Extra Smooth. I think it's a 40 pound test. And then I use it to a gamma fluorocarbon leader. And I, the way I use, I connect it to is with an Albright or an Alberto knot. Either one will do just fine. Um, and then a lot of times um, I'll use this key lime. This is the color of the dust spoon. It's one and three quarter ounces. It's been my favorite color for at least a couple of few years now. And he recently just came out with one another color. It's called Electric Chicken, which is a very similar color to this, but uh, it's also a new hot color. A lot of times um, I will take the time and, and change out the hooks, but I think that's just because I got in the habit of doing that. These hooks are, are just fine the way they come. Um, and uh, you just have to make sure and check them on a regular basis, but they, they, it comes with really stout, good hooks. Um, but on occasion, I do change them out. Um, and a lot of times what I like to do is use um, a snap to this one as well, just so that it doesn't, you know, I don't like to tie directly because I don't like to alter it. I think it's able to move a little bit better if it has a snap to it. But this time we're just gonna tie directly on. And what I use is just your simple, as a hook myself, just a simple Palomar, and then we're good. And a one and three quarter ounce, a lot of people use uh, the two ounce and the two and a half ounce and three ounces out here on the Delta. But I think the one and three quarter ounce works just fine. We're just gonna put this thing down and um, it'll give you some nice, you know, the flutter fall action. And that's what those stripers cannot handle is when that bait is, is falling right in their face. So then you hit the bottom, bring it up, hit the bottom, bring it up, hit the bottom, bring it up. And remember, I like to lower my tip at the same rate that the, the bait is falling without altering that, uh, that fall. Gets down there nicely, especially when you're trying to catch fish that are really deep. 15 to 30 feet deep. We're in 29 feet right now. So, and the key is, go on the side, is to stay vertical. Straight up and down. Where you're at? It's in the middle. We're using the Doug key line. Ooh, nice one, man. Big one? Yes, yeah, nice one. You know, the funny thing is, we were talking about earlier that how you don't need to mark them. We didn't mark a single fish. Nice fish. That's what we came for. <laughs> Nice, look at that, that, this little phoenix rod. Give me a nice battle. The orange line, who that is? 12 pounder. Got him? Yep. He's in the net. He's in the net? Yep. Nice one. <laughs> oh. Look at that baby right there. <laughs> this is um, a one and three quarter ounce uh, dust spoon made by Blade Runner Tackle. We're fishing a spot we've been talking about all morning long how the, the changes in depths. And we're fishing a spot that goes from 30 feet to about five feet. And um, we caught this right on the ledge right there. So uh, it's a one and three quarter ounce dust spoon. Thank you Rick Peets. It's a nice little fish right there. I would suspect maybe eight, nine, ten pounds. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Good. Release this bad boy to catch another day. To uh, catch another day. We'll release it. Here's a fish, but he's not even real a, a real fish. <laughs> <laughs> Got a fish on. <laughs> He's a baby, imagine that one. 
hanging out with that big one. He's lucky he didn't get eaten. <laughs> okay. Nice. Can't believe this small fish hit after just catching that big one right there. <clears throat> and these two fish, were, that big fish was right next to this little fish. And look, he's almost the same size as lure. <laughs> that just shows that you how aggressive those strappers are. Yes, they are aggressive. They're not intimidated by, uh, by very much. <laughs> well, we're going to let that one go. Get bigger. <laughs> See you in about 12 years, huh? <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it?